Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I am back with a very cool tutorial for you. So today I will tell you how to use your Android phone as a wireless spy camera. It can be accessed from anywhere in the world. So first give me a demo of the that. So this is the phone. You can see which is yeah this is my phone you can see working as a wireless webcam so how it works the only criteria for this application to work is that both your phone and your pc or laptop must be in the same network so how to get them on the same network there are many ways i will explain one by one so if you are using a broadband internet connection in your home with a wi-fi router then it's very easy for you just connect both your phone and your laptop or desktop uh, to the internet by the wi-fi router so that they will be on the same network via the router second if you are using a wired broadband connection with the rj45 cable to your pc your phone is on the carrier network like 3g or 4g then uh, you can't use that application in that case what you can do if your phone is running on 3g internet connection or 4g internet connection then go to your phone setting go to the wireless and the portable hotspot setting and turn on the wireless portable hotspot so that your phone will broadcast the internet via the wi-fi and connect your laptop or desktop to that wi-fi network so that they both will be in the same network your phone providing the wi-fi signal and your laptop is connected to that so your phone is working as a wi-fi router so by this method both the devices can be on the same network uh, which is the technique i am using right now i am using my phone as a as a hotspot and i am connected my laptop with that and the third option if you want to access your phone's webcam from anywhere in the world then if you are using a 3g internet connection or 4g internet connection let's say i am using airtel 3g so can i use a airtel 3g data card or dongle to connect your laptop or desktop to the internet so that both the devices will be the same network it doesn't matter where they physically locate they may be on the other side of the globe but as they are using the same carrier they will be the same network which i have tried and it works fine well you can use that option if you want to access your phone from anywhere in the world just connect a charger to your phone and keep it aside so all the technical details i think i have cleared so let me show you uh, how to get the application and how to use it to get the application you have to go to google store so this is the google play store the address is play.google.com and search for the application called ip webcam this is the application which is right now installed on my phone and let me give you the technical details the settings so first uh, after downloading the application and running the application on your phone you will be presented with the interface like this just go to the video preferences and just select a video resolution that may be 320 into 240 640 into 360 or 720p if your network bandwidth and network speed supports uh, video resolution up to that right now i am using the basic resolution which is 176 into 144 and after you have selected the video preferences then go to the bottom of this list and there you will find an option called start server and when you click on that option you will see a camera screen on your phone and there you can see the video which is being transmitted and on that screen you will find an ip address that are IP address you have to type on your browser. I would recommend using Chrome browser as it is a HTML5 supported browser. So the IP which was given to me by my phone is 100.96.177.113 colon 8080. The meaning of this IP, this 100 means it's a private network. That means local network. And this 8080 is the port via which my laptop is connected to that phone. You can change the port number from your phone if needed and luckily if this ip starts with 192.168 then this is a global ip and if this is a global ip you can connect to your phone from anywhere in the world 
it doesn't need to be on the same network but for me it's a closed network so you have to i have to use uh, the same network technique and next when you type this ip on your computer uh, this page will open and here you have to select your video renderer you can use flash you can use click on the browser option on chrome and you can see your phone's screen at this position and then click on the full screen so it will open another tab and you can watch the video full screen and then just move your phone and see the video and this is the ip given by your phone which you have to connect to and the coolest part is not only you can access the webcam from a pc or laptop you can access the webcam from your phone also if your second phone using the same carrier as your first phone like uh, my first phone is on airtel 3g and say my second phone is on also airtel 3g then i can access the webcam from my second phone also while i am on the travel and i can also watch that full screen but your second phone browser must be uh, html5 browser there are plenty of html5 browsers available for android like uh, dolphin browser or google chrome browser etc so friend this was my video on how to use your android phone as a wireless webcam i hope you enjoyed this video if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my youtube channel <coughs> the link is youtube.com from slash sujoy n70 and please like this video and share this video among your friends and family because sharing is caring and apart from these technical videos i have uploaded many educational videos on mathematics and engineering tutorials so, so thanks for watching see you in my next video and stay connected by subscribing